This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I add small brush buttons to my custom UI? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the Earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about adding brush buttons to your UI. So these would be the little icons that live over here in the brush palette. So you can see all these little brush items here. And the question is asking about adding these to your custom UI. So in order to do that, first we need to enable the custom UI option. So we need to navigate to the preferences palette at the top here, and then go to the config area and turn on enable customize. Now when you have this enable customize active, if you come across any UI elements inside of ZBrush and hold down Control and Alt and then drag, this will allow you to place those elements in other areas on your UI. So if I come across Zoom, hold down Control and Alt and drag, you can see I can start populating these buttons elsewhere in my interface. You can also hold Control and Alt and click and drag off into the canvas and that will remove items as well. So if you don't want total points anymore or active points, you can simply just drag those into the canvas and it'll remove them from the UI. Now for the brushes, we just need to do that same thing. So I'm gonna come over to the brush palette over here and click this little icon, which is gonna dock the brush palette to the side here. And then in here and come across any of these brushes that are being displayed in this menu and hold down that control and alt again, click and drag, and then I can place that in my UI. So you can see now I've taken the clay buildup brush and now placed it over here. Now, in addition to just placing items in the UI, you can also scroll these UI elements too by holding down control and dragging. And this will allow you to scroll those different bars. And this will work across any of the bars in the UI. So you can scroll these side ones and the top one. So as long as you have any of these bars visible, just hold down control, you'll get this little icon and click and drag and that will allow you to scroll that bar like so. Now, when dragging these brush buttons into the UI, you may want to use small buttons as well, instead of these wider ones, like the clay buildup here is being displayed with. So if I navigate back up to the preferences palette here, I can go to the interface area and then open up the UI area. And then in here, there is a button called wide buttons. If you disable this option, you'll notice that any of those buttons that were being displayed in that wide format are now going to be displayed in a square format instead. So you can see the clay build up button here is no longer wide, but it is now being displayed as this little square button. So now I can come over and add more buttons to my UI by holding down Control and Alt and clicking and dragging, and I can start populating the UI like this. Now with the UI too, I may want to add another row under this. So instead of just having the clay build up and clay in the row going like this, I may want to stack these on top of each other. So to do this, we just need to come across one of these brushes again, hold down Control and Alt, and as you start dragging it across the elements in the UI, you'll see it's going to snap the different areas. So as I drag this across, you'll see it's snapping to different parts of the UI. And if you snap to a part of the UI that's out of the range of the existing one, when you release, this will expand that area. So you can see as I put the smooth brush here, I've now got more vertical space that's being established. So now I can say move the clay buildup brush by holding Control and Alt and move that down, and then I can move the smooth down and the clay down, and now I have two levels of buttons here. So I have the smooths and the clays, and then all these are in the same area. I can continue modifying my UI like this and just keep adding you know, different elements and moving them around, and that will allow me to customize my interface how I want it to be inside of ZBrush. Now, after your interface is customized, you wanna go up to the Preferences panel and go back to that Config area and turn off the Enable Customize button there. This will now return ZBrush back to its normal operation. You also wanna make sure that you save the UI. So going back to Preferences here and clicking the Save UI button, and then that will allow your UI interface to be saved, and then the next time you start ZBrush, it will load up with your custom UI. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.